everyone today we are going to go ahead and discuss what is cuet for ma economics entrance exam what does it mean where would it be applied and how can you go ahead and apply for this exam now please understand see cuet stands for central university entrance exam this is basically an exam which is chosen by various universities as one common exam on the basis of which you will be admitted to various different universities. Now, this is basically conducted by National Testing Agency, as we all know what NTA is, and you know, it's not only conducted for undergraduate courses, but it is also going to be conducted for the postgraduate courses. This is going to act as one single channel through which you will apply for various different universities. You'll get admission in various different universities. Now, you know, for MA Economics, the paper code, is PGQP44. Let's understand which are the universities which have come under CUET. So we have Jawaharlal Nehru University, better known as JNU. We have BHU, Banaras Hindu University. We have Ambedkar University and we have Hyderabad University among the top universities that have come under the provision of CUET. So now you can apply for the entrance exam of MA Economics right through CUT. You can give this entrance exam and you can sit for all these universities at a go. There are more than 30 plus universities who are going ahead and offering this, but these are among the top choices that I have picked that you can apply for. There are some renowned universities that are not adopting the participate you know that are not participating in the CUET process for postgraduate graduation program one of which is Delhi University which is better you know for, for Delhi University we know it is Delhi School of Economics so that is where you can go ahead and they have their separate entrance exam then you have Aligarh Muslim University, you have Jamia, you have IIT for which they conduct IIT JAM. You have ISI which conducts its own paper, you have South Asian University. So these universities are still not under CUET for postgraduate program. Now what is going to be the syllabus of CUET MA Economics entrance exam? First of all, what is going to come is going to be microeconomics. Under microeconomics, you would be asked consumer theory. So as we know, consumer theory is going to go ahead and it is going to have uh, subject, you know, chapters like demand, utility, indifference curve, revealed preference, all these topics. So what you can do is, you can easily go through the past year paper of JNU and you will get a good idea of the kind of questions that come from consumer theory. Then the second part is going to be producer theory. So producer theory basically has cost, production, profit, and then you have types of producers in the market, which means you have perfectly competitive market, monopoly, monopolistic market, duopoly, and that leads to game theory. And finally, you will have topics like general equilibrium, efficiency, and welfare, right? So this is going to be your topics from microeconomics. 
secondly you will go ahead and you will get topics from macroeconomics under macroeconomics earlier also one of the favorite topics of jnu used to be national income accounting so this continues to be there then you have is lm curve then you have ad is then you have what is the difference between classical and keynes then you have of course money and inflation what is quantity theory of money and then you have money multiplier and then you have fiscal policies versus monetary policies you have the phillips curve right followed by consumption and investment functions so some of the very important hypotheses like permanent income hypothesis relative and life cycle hypothesis like for example uh you have topics like investment model uh you have inventory investment model you have accelerator model this part and finally you have topics related to open economy like mundell fleming model balance of payment exchange rate determination purchasing power parity etc at last this is part of your development economics which also comes as part of your microeconomic uh, macroeconomics which is going to be your growth models so you have to do harrod dumen model and solo model i prefer telling students to also cover ak model sometimes even this comes in a lot of entrance exams then the third part that you would be covering would be your statistical methods in economics so you would be going ahead and doing mean median mode dispersion skewness simple regression model and probability distribution this is the most important topic very very important understanding the various probability distributions when to go ahead and when to use binomial when to use bernoulli when to go ahead and use exponential functions all those probability distributions are important then we jump on to mathematical methods so you will do set theory you will do vectors here you should also write down please write logic it comes in maths very good topic permute uh, permutation and combination either you practice in maths or in stats but that topic has to be practiced then mathematical induction that has to be practiced then you have to do functions of one and several variables you should know what is implicit theorem implicit value theorem you should know what is envelope theorem you should go ahead and you should practice uh, you should know what is young's theorem right then you should know what is lebesnay's rule then you should be practicing here only under this gradient uh, derivative or directional derivative right then you should know integration of function difference equation matrices determinants also here linear programming probability and differential equation then comes indian economy so under indian economy i like to divide the indian economy in many parts so you know when there is a way to study indian economy the best way to study indian economy is to divide it in parts what happened before the british era what happened during the british era what happened post the british era and in this the best way to study post british era is to understand what happened across different five year plans right so you should know the various macro trends national income population occupational structure here please write down demographic transition also then you should study topics of course agriculture what has been the structure land relation agricultural markets credit commerce technology you should know about railways and industry and uh, you know then you should be talking about economy and state and imperial context and flows and the colonial economy you should definitely and this is a fixed question asked in every exam 1991 lpg policy 
then you should talk about public private good externality budget deficit there are definitely one to two questions that would be coming from this topic then taxation here you should know the difference between statutory tax and economic tax what is the difference what does this depend on what is the corresponding debt weight loss what is budget tax budgetary tax uh, budgetary uh, tax incidence you should know all of this right then you should know international trade theories given by adam smith ricardo hegerol in model and new trade theories so overall the coet entrance exam is going to have 100 questions 25 is going to be general questions and 75 would be domain specific questions here for general questions you should practice logic you should practice some english part also paragraph reading etc analyzing the paragraphs and for this you can easily refer to the past year papers of gnu finally let's see what is going to be uh, the last date of applying for the entrance exam so the exam window is open if application window is open from 19th of may to 18th of june the exam would be conducted in a computer based test mode and it is expected to happen in the last week of july if there are any more queries feel free to put it in the chat window or feel free to put it as part of the comments thank you and best of luck